The state is investigating 63 deaths tied to the weekend heat wave. To stay alive, hundreds flocked to cooling centers across the metro area, and our news partners at Willamette Week spent three days at those cooling centers talking to people seeking refuge. Joining us to talk about that story is one of its authors, Willamette Week reporter Suzette Smith. Suzette, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You were there when the cooling centers opened over the weekend. What was the initial response like? Uh, initially, the concern seemed to be that people wouldn't take the heat seriously uh, or that people would feel like the 24-hour shelters, uh, there were three of them, that they weren't for them. Uh, so they were for a lot of people, people who might not have air conditioning, people who might be stuck in a high-rise apartment that could get really hot. Uh, so those were sort of the immediate concerns. What stood out to you about the people coming in to, to get away from the heat? Sure. Uh, what sort of really became obvious is that although the shelters were really comfortable places to be, it was as if everyone who was there was sort of stuck in a holding pattern. Uh, they brought their laptops, they brought books, some of them, a lot of them just seemed to sleep through the heat of the day. And that was sort of um, kind of an interesting thing to come in at 2 p.m. and see a bunch of people asleep, presumably because they wanted to go out later. But uh, yeah, it was, it was that everyone needed to be there, but not necessarily that they wanted to be there. Suzette, what did you notice change throughout the weekend when you were there? As the heat got hotter, well, as the, as the days got hotter, uh, the, it seemed as if the shelters filled up a little bit more. Uh, another thing that was interesting was that there were day shelters like the libraries or the Q Center, and they actually had less people coming in because they didn't have their, their uh, regular patrons coming or their regular the people who would come in there. Um, so they had some people escaping the heat, but they actually had less numbers. Yeah, fortunately, there were the cooling centers up and running for a whole lot of folks out there. Suzette Smith, Willamette Week, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. And you can read the entire article in the latest edition of Willamette Week on newsstands now or online at wweek.com.